Hey DIYers, I'm George LeBlancgrid. Today we're going to be going over how to connect your GC3 to Wi-Fi. Now, the GC3s actually come with a Wi-Fi communicator built in, so you don't have to worry about going out and buying another expansion module for the panel. It has Wi-Fi built in. I'm going to show you two ways on how to connect to your Wi-Fi. And um, the first way is going to be the very easiest way. If you look at the top right logo of the screen, there's a 2 gig icon. A lot of people miss this, but it's actually a button. If you press that, it's going to take you to a keypad menu. You're going to enter in your deep, your installer code. For me, it's defaulted at 1561. Again, the installer code could be different if you or your monitoring company has changed it. If you look towards the bottom right there, you're going to see network settings. This is where you're going to connect or disconnect from your Wi-Fi or change any Wi-Fi settings that you may want to. So I go to network settings. I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to wireless. Now from there, you're going to see a list of Wi-Fi networks. If you don't see yours, go ahead and hit refresh to bring up any new networks that could have possibly came on. For me, I'm going to go ahead and connect to my alarm grid Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to highlight it. It's going to take me to a page where it's going to ask me to enter in the password and then hit next. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my password. It's very difficult upside down. I'm going to go ahead and next. As soon as I hit next, it's going to take me to a page. I have it on auto assign. Well, it automatically has, has it on auto assign. So it's going to assign your IP, um, any other network configurations that you need to have, your subnet mask, your gateway, DNS server. Uh, if you have something you want to do manual, you can go ahead and do manual and change it on your own. We're going to have it set to auto. We don't recommend doing static IP. Um, so after it's assigned it, you have it set to auto. We're going to go ahead and wait there until it loads. I'm just going to hit the back arrow key all the way out to my home screen. And that's the very first way of doing it. The second way is actually going into system settings, which is the button on the right hand side of the panel. Now for that, you can actually either use your master code or your installer code. So the master code for this panel, we also have it defaulted at 1111. The master code could be different depending if you or your company has changed it. So you want to make sure you use the one that's on the panel. I'm going to show you guys both ways of getting in. System disarmed. I'm going to go to, to system settings. Enter in my master code 1111. Takes me to the system settings page. Or I'm going to make my way over and I'm going to use the, the default installer code 1561. If I scroll down, you're going to see network settings, the same button we saw in the installer toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Again, you hit wireless, and you can go ahead and connect to that. If you need to disconnect from a network and reconnect to another one, you're going to see that there's a forget network button. So if I highlight it, I can go ahead and do forget network. You're going to hit yes to confirm. And then it is no longer connected to alarm grid. You can go ahead and scroll down your choices and connect to anything else there is. I'm just going to go ahead and back out to the home screen here. So again, that's the quick way on how to connect to Wi-Fi on your GC3. Now, it is recommended not to just stay on Wi-Fi. Now, if you've seen our plans, you're going to see that we have a self bronze and a self silver that are Wi-Fi or internet only plans. Now, even though the GC3 can connect and be on Wi-Fi only, Alarm.com does not offer services for internet only paths. They only allow plans that include cellular. So when we go to, when you go ahead and go get activated, you're going to want to make sure that you have a cellular communicator for your GC3. Right now, the current options are Rogers if you're in Canada. There's a Verizon LTE and there's an AT&T 3G. You have those three different options to go to grab for your GC3 and get it activated. Like I said, unfortunately, our alarm.com does not allow us to use internet only paths. But the good thing about that is that since you're using cellular, you're always going to have that backup communication, which gives you 99% redundance, um, basically meaning that if your Wi-Fi ever fails, the cellular is going to pick up. Now, how many of you guys have issues where your Wi-Fi goes in and out? Let's say your alarm 
someone's breaking in while the Wi-Fi goes out. And if you don't have a cellular communicator in, there's no way for the panel to send the signal out. That's why it's always recommended to have a cellular communicator regardless. So 2GIG actually doing you guys a favor by making you guys go with a cellular communicator. Um, so again, Wi-Fi, cellular communicator as your backup. You can connect the GC3 to the Wi-Fi since it's built in. This was a quick video on showing you how to do that. If you guys have any further questions, you can always email us at support at um, If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you actually get notified. Again, I'm George with Alarm Grid. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys next time.